Hello and welcome to ESC Plus on YouTube. Uh, we're on video and audio as well. Um, Eva from Lithuania, welcome to the London Eurovision party. Is this your first time in the UK? Uh, no, it's my third time in London. Yeah, like this is the city where I'm watching. Uh, I, I mean, how, how do you feel ahead of the event? Because obviously this is a great warm-up for Eurovision. Um, and is it quite nice for you to share your song before the song contest? I know that's a bit of a daft question, yeah. but obviously the, the, the more fans you gather, the, the better chances you have of winning the contest. Yeah. I think the most important thing of these pre-parties because you can meet a lot of different like uh, artists yeah. and to communicate with them. I think it, this is the best moment. I don't know if, uh, if showing the song is like good or bad. And I think it's good, you know, <laughs> that a lot of people can hear the song, but the main thing is to meet you and to meet all the artists. And, and now let, let's talk about your, your, your Eurovision past because um, I've, I've written here that you've tried to represent Lithuania in 2013, 2014, 2016 and 2017. Um, can I just say, fantastic de determination to, to get that spot. You, you finally got it on your fifth attempt. So is all that, that long distance wait been worth it? Yeah, I think it was really worth, worth it. Like, this year I was not planning to go to Eurovision. I was, oh, I was right. saying to me that I was here, you know, one year and then after maybe I will go, but you know, that's because called me and he said, like, I have really good song that can win this year. And I was thinking, okay, I will listen and I will say my opinion. And I, when I just listened to that song, you know, my heart was melting. <laughs> because for me, the song is so magical and yeah. so special. So I thought that, okay, maybe one more time I will try and then I will see what happens. And like, here I won. And there we go. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's worked out. I mean, I mean that, that's what's really important, though, isn't it, for, for any singer is to believe in the song as well as trying to get the audience to get behind it. It's the most important thing. It doesn't matter if the song is lyrical, you can dance uh, with the song, it doesn't matter. But yeah, but the most important thing is that you can believe in the song because if you don't believe, who can believe? Exactly, <laughs> yeah. exactly, absolutely. Um, uh, obviously, there's only a few weeks away from the, the main stage. Is there anything you can say about the staging, or is it all behind closed doors? No, I can say a lot of things. Um, there will be no show. <laughs> yeah, just light, no colorful things. Um, but the main important thing is like to to feel that song when you're singing. Yeah, that people can feel it. So this is the main song, and those kind of things. So you know. This is just little details. Uh, I, was, I was talking to some of the members of the press here, um, and, and we, we agree that this is one of the strongest ever songs for Lithuania. So, how do you feel about that? Um, it's really pressure for me, but I, I really <laughs> like it, yeah, because a lot of foreign people, yeah, are thinking the same, you know, they're saying yeah. like, oh my god, this time is like so unique and la la la, so for me it's really nice, because Lithuania people are sometimes saying like, no, this is too much lyrical song, why they're sending this, why they're sending that, but yeah, the most inspirational thing for me is like, a lot of people in abroad, they're saying like, oh, it's such a nice song, so for me it's like, super good, yeah. thank you so much. It's alright, and it gets you it gets you even more confident, I'm yeah, sure. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I need this. <laughs> um, what, what are you hoping to do in your trip to Lisbon as well? Obviously, you've got to rehearse, perform it live, hopefully make the final. Um, is there anything you have in mind ahead of Lisbon? Anything you want to check out? Yeah, I want to check out a lot of places, but they they said that we are going to a lot of excursions, but the main thing that I want to do, I want to make a film or a movie oh, yeah, okay. in Lisbon. Yeah. I want to make my video clip because I'm making new songs, so I think that we will do a lot of things there. Yeah. And obviously, with Review Vision as well, it, it's must be such a fantastic promotion for your name because you know we've got over 200 million people that will hear your song in the semi-finals. Wow. I know, it's crazy. It's crazy. And, and Australia. Yeah, it's really crazy because I was thinking the same because it's in Lithuania, you know, you are free to go on that stage you know, and just 2 million people are watching you. And there was thinking like 200 million people. And I was like, what? It's just a, it's just a number. It's just a number, you know. <laughs> Yeah, but you should be concentrated on that song and on that yeah. particular, you know, thing, what you're doing on the stage. But this is really a great opportunity for me as a young singer. For me, it's like... <laughs> uh, Eva, thank you very much for your time on ESC+. Plus. Um, enjoy the party tonight and good luck in Lisbon.